Hey guys, that I have my Itsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of October. This is not PR, this is actually my bag. So I'll tell you guys which ones were my choice. I will say, this is the first time ever in like the last year or so that I've had issues with their app. I usually can get on there, pick my choice, pick any add-ons and get out. And I do not know what happened this month. I was having troubles for hours on end. I could not get on there. Um, the only way I could get on was through Google Chrome. So it was like, what? Um, I actually became a Ipsy Open Studios member this month, which I am so excited. So you guys probably already saw that unboxing. That was a PR box for the Glam Bag and the Glam Bag Plus, but this one is the one that I'm actually subscribed to. So the first thing in my box is, and this time around I did a try on portion as well. So I try to do a few of the things and try them on for you guys. So you guys will see that. I will have timestamps down below where you can click and go to that if you just want to see those so first things in here is first things in here first thing in here is the Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder this is just a uh, translucent powder and I really like the packaging on this super cute you just flip it up here and then you have your little powder puff it has one of those netting kind of powders which I really enjoy and I feel like this would be really good on the go just because you have your little mirror your little powder puff and you can like boop, boop. it is super super mattifying. I could just tell immediately when I put this on my skin, um, it looks super, super matte from the get-go. You will see that on the try-on portion. But um, once I put setting spray and my highlight and everything, I feel like my face came back to life uh, because I am mirroring. I just turned 38 <laughs> this past weekend and you know, I like a little bit more of luminosity to my skin. I feel like it brings more usefulness youthfulness. Next thing is actually what is in my eyes or what is on my eyes and this is the Violet Voss Creme Brulee and you will see this in the try on portion. This is the little fun size one. I actually picked this out as my um, one of the products. I just felt like the colors were really on vibe with me. I like these peachy tone colors and a lot of these beautiful um, shimmers are gorgeous and I feel like their formula is super, super nice. This is just a perfect palette to travel with once COVID finally dies. <laughs> <laughs> but the shimmers in here are stunning. There are those kinds of shimmers that you can apply on the eye with having to, without having to wet them or have any issues with them. The mattes blend like a dream. I really enjoy their formula and I love their palettes. Every time I get the chance to get one in one of these subscription boxes, I am all about it because I, I really feel like Violet Voss is underrated compared to, you know, I feel like people don't talk about it enough. Next thing in here is another palette. I think I might put this in a giveaway for you guys. This is from Lovecraft Beauty. It is a little um, six pan shadow palette. Um, it basically has a few neutrals and then this pop of gold and this pop of green. I shall see. Let me know down below if you guys like care for this kind of stuff in giveaways or you only care about high end stuff or whatever's new. I feel like if you put, you know, um, brands like this, like, like stuff that maybe you're not using used to people don't really gravitate to the giveaways so I, I'd love to hear from you let me know let me know so that way I know if I should just give this to a friend or you guys are up for it um, so yeah so that's that one next thing in here is what I have on my lips which is the Violet Voss which I did not know that they had lip glosses but this was another one of my choices uh, this is in the shade delight and that's what it looks like right there um, very very nice lip gloss it's not one of those like super goopy ultra juicy looking lip glosses but I feel like it's a very pretty and then the last thing in here is the double feature admit one half caked. Um, I don't know if this, I think this was, yeah, this was my third pick. So um, it comes with like a duo if it would come out. And I think that the packaging is super cute. It's like a little donut. Um, it has little sprinkles on it. So it says half caked and it has like a has like a, a particular smell. I can't pinpoint it, but this is a shade that I would use. And then, whoa. <laughs> and then it has a really beautiful, um, it says instant crutch and it is called the shade rich, rich. It is a gorgeous lip gloss, which 
Oh, that is pretty. This is actually like one of those sticky looking lip, lip glosses that I like to make like your lips juicy. So it has that little duo in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to the try on portion so you guys can see some of the products. Obviously I didn't try them all because I had multiple lip products, multiple eye products, but that way you guys can kind of get an idea of a few of the products. So from the Ipsy bag, I'm gonna go ahead and try this Shape Tape setting powder. I went ahead and opened it. It comes with a little puff, even though I don't really use those. I really like that it has a little mirror and then it has like one of those little nettings. So it has the little netting here for the powder to come through. And I'm just gonna use a fluffy brush and apply this just like I would a setting powder but I really like the whole structure of this. It makes it really nice for someone who likes to do touch-ups on the go. And you know, that way if you're getting oily or greasy, you can just use a little powder puff and replace it with like a cheap um, one from the drugstore if you wanted to. And wow, this is super matte. <laughs> I am not into matte powders, but sometimes I'll use a matte powder and then do my glow on top. So this is really good, I feel like, for anyone with more oily skin. And the packaging is super cute. I think that this is very doable for like your purse or a little bag, a little makeup bag if you're gonna take one. Very, very matte. I had two palettes come in my Ipsy, so the Creme Brulee and then the Lovecraft one. I think I'm gonna maybe do a giveaway with this one. This is super cute. It has neutrals and then a pop of green and a gold. I think somebody could get really good use out of this, so definitely check out my Instagram. I'll be doing like little um, makeup bundles for you guys, or maybe just one big bundle for someone. So this is the Violet Voss Creme Brulee. These shades are right up my alley, just gorgeous, um, peachy golds in there. Uh, let me see, oh, the quality looks nice. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in and see. I'm gonna use this, let me say it, let me say. I'm gonna use just this uh, matte bone color for my brow bone, just to highlight that. Maybe just set everything into place. We're just gonna do a quick little look here because I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm gonna use this peach shade, maybe just something super simple. And use that as my transition. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of that dark shimmer and put that on the outer part of my lid and then blend that in. Next, I'm gonna take this, um, I don't know what this is. It's kind of like this weird brownish taupey color. And I'm gonna put that all over the majority of my lid. That's pretty. It's like a weird brownie, greenish looking <laughs> brown. Um, and then for the inner part, I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade. So I use all three in this, um, this peach color, so let's just use a little bit of that. Well, it's pretty. And then for the inner inner corner, I'm gonna use this gold shade right here, just to give it a pop, an extra pop. Okay, and then for the lower lash line, I think I'm gonna go in with this caramel color. Ooh. So I'm gonna finish doing the eye and then we're gonna test out one of the lip products. And then the next thing I'm gonna use is, I have three lip products in here. So this one is a duo with a lip, uh, what is this? A lip fondant and gloss. And then I have this Violet Bops Violet Boss lip gloss, but I feel like this one goes better with the look, so we are going to try this one. I actually have lip liner from my BoxyCharm, and this is in the shade Delight. I actually picked this out myself. Ooh, she is bright. And here is the shade Delight. I feel like this lip gloss isn't like that goopy, thick lip gloss. This is more of those pigmented gloss where it just gives a hint of gloss, but it isn't like super, super juicy on your lips. But it is very beautiful. I think I will add this to my collection as well. So yeah, so I'll go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts now.
So for my final thoughts, I have to say this Ipsy is out of the ballpark for me. I absolutely loved everything that came in here. Um, two palettes, two lip products, powder. I think this was a good month for me. Let me know what your thoughts are down below on yours. If you like the one that you got or if you didn't, I'd love to hear from you down below. Even if I got onto the website late for the picks, I um, still got pretty good variation this month. Um, so yeah, so subscribe if you're not subscribed. Definitely follow me on my social media if you can or if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.